Hey guys, Mufasa is back here, and we got a little bit of a little bit of a stress relief video, or it's not relief, but uh, more. It's just a video to kind of reassure you that um, you're not the only one dying out there. Uh, it's coming down to the end of the semester, and everyone's going crazy. Finals, trying to bring that f up. I've been there. It's cool. It's cool. It's it's okay. It's fine. Um, I know I personally have a lot of stuff to do, but I, I just want to—I just want to try and try and try and give you some some tips to try and um, stay on top of things. Um, I, I I personally, like I just said, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now, stress-wise, assignments-wise. Um, <clears throat> I've got a week long of acapella gigs. Uh, this week, I've got just a bunch of acapella gigs. I've got some teaching events that I need to do. I need to uh, teach some classes that I'm kind of prepared for. Um, I've got assignments due tomorrow. I have to read an entire play. I have to uh, analyze. I have to write a lesson plan. I did, it's, it's a lot of stuff. 12-page uh, paper. You know, it's whatever. Um, so, I understand what it's like. You know, you got... I mean, I'm obviously no, like, medical student, but, you know, it's 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 a lot. Stress is stress. Um, people deal with it differently, and people... And just handle it differently. Um, but my my one my number one um, tip is try and stay sane. Um, you know when you get bombarded with assignments and stuff, your first reaction is to freak out and be like, "Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to do this." Sit down and say, "Listen, you got this, Bray." All right. One of um one of my personal. T uh, What's the word? What's the word, guys? Give me the word. Give me the word. Give me the word. One of my methods, there we go, of uh, dealing with this is I sit down and I write everything out. Uh, I don't have it with me because I think I threw it out. Um, I took a napkin. I was at lunch and I took a napkin and I was writing down my schedule um, because I had just found out I had to work and then I had found out that I didn't find out, but I just, had, I just found out I had to work. And then I realized, should I have an assignment that's due tomorrow? And I have my girlfriend's coming up, so I gotta make time for her. It was a, it was a mess. Uh, so like I didn't even get a notebook and a and a pen, and I sat at my desk and contemplated my plan of action. I took a napkin and a freaking pen, and I jotted stuff down. Um, like right here, I have my script of what I was gonna stress, you know, stuff that I'm gonna say, um, and. It helps me a lot, at least. Um, like, for on the napkin, I wrote down, today, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Tomorrow, boom, 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 boom. And it, at least personally, it, it seems like everything is just planned and smooth. Um, in, instead of thinking, I have all this stuff to do by the end of the week. You know, you, instead of setting goals for the week, you set goals per day. And it, it seems to thin it out a little bit, at least for me. You can try that. Um, also, take care of yourself. Uh, emotionally, physically, take care of yourself. Because this past weekend, I got zero sleep. Plain and simple. I got no sleep. And this Monday came up very quickly. And I was freaking out because I had to teach today. I have to teach tomorrow. I have to teach Wednesday. I have a project to do today that's due tomorrow. I have a paper that I have to start tomorrow. Do, you know it? So Monday hit, and it was just like fuck. Um, but the, because I didn't get any sleep, and I just I was exhausted. I was tired. Like it was to the point where I was feeling crappy. And it does not help. It really doesn't. So you get your sleep, as much sleep as you can. I know if you're staying up for projects and papers and junk, try to get as much sleep as you can. Um, All-nighters help for your grades, yeah, but in the end, you're going to feel exponentially crappier. Um, I would even go as far as to say, go to bed earlier and wake up earlier and do your stuff in the morning so that you can kickstart your day with your mind going, not mind going, uh, kickstart your mind by doing work. I, that's not going to sound right, but whatever. Um, the, another thing is, teachers say this all the time, start studying now, prepare yourself now, don't wait till the last minute. Believe it or not, it works. Um, you know, I, 
I ha I started doing this last semester because you know it's it's not I've never been the best of students because in high school I didn't study I, I did not study for anything uh, and I got A's and B's so but I came to college and I got a big slap in the face saying welcome to college you got to study so last semester <laughs> first semester of my third year here um, I started to study like a week two weeks before exams final exam to be exact um, and it works you you start you start studies I learned this in class studies have 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 studies 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 have shown here we go studies have shown that uh, the the sooner after learning material that you actually uh, assert yourself and and review that material the more apt you are to remember it. So if I am taught today about derivatives, um, and I come home after class today, like right now when I start doing book problems, I start reading the reading the sec the section of the book. You know, it's you're going to be a lot better off um, because not only are you getting taught it, you come home and you apply your, apply apply yourself to it. You know, by, by yourself, you're not being told. I'm teaching you this. Pay attention. You come back. You do it by yourself, and you're gonna you're gonna remember it more. It, it works. So I gotta say. So start studying now. Review your stuff. Not like three hours a night. Just take 25 minutes. Look over some look over some stuff. You know, like maybe like a chat. Glance over a chapter. Write down some key terms, some definitions, some concepts. You know, whatever. Um, and the last thing I want to say is get rid of all unnecessary stress. Other and unnecessary stress. Um, one thing for me is cleanliness of my bedroom. Um, right now, it's kind of a shithole. Not, it's not bad, but like a couple days ago, like before the weekend started, this was just, it was horrible. It was everything and all of this and everywhere. And I just sat down and I'm trying to do stuff and just there's shit all over my desk, there's shit on the floor, it was just shit. Um, so I'm like, you know what? F you. I put on some tunes and I clean the shit out of my room. And honestly, it felt amazing. Like as you're doing it, you think before before you, before you clean your room. Like your mom tells you, oh, you need to clean your room. You're not hanging out with your friends. You're thinking like, oh, that fucking sucks. Oh god. But then you actually start cleaning your room. It's like this is kind of fun because I got some tunes. I'm jamming out. I'm finding things that I haven't seen in five years. No. Um, but but no, cleaning your room it, it 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 does help. It gets rid of that claustrophobia. Claustrophobia, yeah. Uh, even if you're not claustrophobic, you, you kind of feel claustrophobic when you just got all this junk around. Um, you clean it up and it's great. Like I had the strongest urge to just sit on my bed and chill. You know what I mean? Um, also, I mean that that goes for like your your if you're if you're living at home if you're if you're a high schooler or below or even. Even, you know, outside of college, if you've got, like, a big meeting tomorrow or something, you know, clean your living space, your bedroom, your kitchen, your living room, your anything. Like, okay, so if you're a high schooler, clean the living room, clean your clean your bedroom, chill out in the living room with a clean space, watch some tube, go downstairs, clean bedroom, go upstairs, downstairs, whatever, into your bedroom, clean space, whatever. It's great. It's a great time. Um... But that's that's pretty much it for me right now. Um, if you guys got any other ways of uh, reducing stress, uh, definitely put them in the comments um, because I could probably use some too. <laughs> uh, these are the, just the first ones that came off to off the top of my head. So um, yeah, stay sane, write shit down, start studying now, and get rid of unnecessary stress. Um, that's Mufasa's like counselor sesh of the week um so hope you guys can deal with those finals and uh let me know how you cope with stress down there and we will see you next time